Thank you for joining us. This is CMRU.ca News. I'm Sarah Diaz. And I'm Brandon Hilshey. A mountain of snow is lengthening the commute from Mount Royal University East residents. Since the road in front of the East community has been blocked off, snow quickly piled up. Some students have sent complaints to the school about the dangerous ice paths that were forming. The school responded by putting up a blockade. What used to be a shortcut is now all ice. Although there are signs urging students to use the official maintained pathways, students are still very upset. All they had to do was just throw a little bit of salt or just plow the street a little bit more, but instead they decided to erect this giant wall, which I think is a very immature response to the problem because instead of actually trying to work with the students, they're just um, trying to stop us. Nothing has been solved by the giant wall. With more snow expected to fall this weekend, students are worried that their concerns won't be addressed in time. Universities across Alberta. Universities across Alberta have been receiving strange packages from Amazon. The Mount Royal Students Association has received over 30 strange packages since November, containing items ranging from cable ties and Bluetooth speakers to dog tags and sex toys. Amazon claims the fault isn't theirs. Packages like these have been received by student associations from across Canada for many months. These seemingly random packages show up addressed to the student union with really no explanation of their origin. The trend is continuing and does not show signs of stopping. When questioned about the packages, Amazon has responded simply with, keep it, refusing any knowledge about the packages or why this keeps happening. Now in sports. Mount Royal University hockey playoffs are around the corner and the excitement around the rink is quite high. Keegan Bartram has more. The regular season has ended for our Mount Royal hockey teams as now it is time to shift focus to the playoffs. For the men, they'll be out in Winnipeg for a weekend series with the Manitoba Bison. This will mark the second consecutive year that the Bison and Cougars have faced off in the first round of the Canada West playoffs, with last year's series ending 2-1 to one for Mount Royal. For graduating players Cam Lanigan, Sebastian Pear, Tanner Olstad, and Jamie King, this is their last opportunity at a Canada West Championship. Oh, it, it mean the world to me. I mean, it, it's not just for me either. It's also the rest of the guys that are graduating, Perzy, Oli, and Lanny. I mean, we all just said it, like, means the world to us. And, you know, it's the last kick of the can for a lot of us. So, I mean, to vote on top would be, you know, every hockey player's dream. The ladies are also getting ready for their playoff series. But unlike the men, they're going to be heading out west to Vancouver to take on the University of British Columbia Thunderbirds. The women still in search of that first Canada West playoff victory since moving to U Sport in 2012-13. And have hit a recent slump in games going 1-7 and seven with only two goals for. I think if we stick mostly to our strategy of a team play game and not focus on individual successes. Hopefully that'll transfer over to a game. It's kind of been our focus this week at practice. The first game of each series goes Friday with the women starting at 4 o'clock mountain time from British Columbia and the men at 6 o'clock in Manitoba. For CMRU.ca News, I'm Keegan Bartram. The volleyball season is wrapping up here at MRU. It's the final weekend that the Cougars are in town as they play their crow child rivals, the Calgary Dinos. Scott Stimson joins us live from Kenyon Court to tell us about this upcoming weekend. How is it looking for our volleyball teams? This weekend is huge for the men and women's teams. Both teams will play tonight at the University of Calgary. Last weekend, the men played in Brandon, Manitoba. They were unable to win last weekend though. Now the men need two wins to have any chance of making the playoffs. They will need some help from the teams ahead of them in the standings. If either Saskatchewan or Manitoba wins a game this weekend, the Cougars men's team will be out of contention. The women were in Brandon, Manitoba last weekend. They were able to win both games. Now they just need one win this weekend to make the playoffs. This will be a tough task as the Dinos are 19-3, which has them ranked as the third best team in the country. Alternatively, if Brandon loses both their games this weekend, the Cougars team will qualify. 
Now, tomorrow night will be an important night, not just because of this playoff push. It is also seniors night. Graduating players will be honored with a framed Cougars jersey of their own, along with a ceremony taking place between the men's and women's games tomorrow. Now the men, they have three fifth-year players, Riley Friesen, Lockie Pollock, and Lachlan Polson. The women have one with Alex Donaghy. The games tomorrow take place right here at Kenyon Court, with the men at 6 p.m. and the women following up around 7.30. Thanks, Scott. It's time now to take a look at the weekend weather. Cassandra Sajadelski joins us now. Thanks, Brandon. So if you step outside right now, it's about minus 10 degrees and rather sunny. For the rest of Alberta, the trend seems to carry it out. Uh, minus 10 up in Fort Mac, minus 9 in Edmonton, minus 12 in Red Deer, 13 in Lethbridge, and minus 5 in Banff. For the weekend forecast, we have flurries throughout the weekend, starting on Friday with a high of minus 3, getting down to minus 10 and 14 on Saturday and Sunday. And that's your Thursday weather update. Thank you, Cassandra. That was CMRU.ca News. I'm Sarah Diaz. And I'm Brandon Hilshey. Thanks for joining us today.